talk about God, Allah, uh -huh. and Satan. Okay. Uh, can you describe them? Yeah. You want to know about God and and Satan. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman uh, ar-Rahim. The pro the proper name for the deity that we call God is Allah. Mm -hmm. Allah is the true name of 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 what we call God. This Allah that we worship. Let me see. This Allah that we worship is. Uh, a transcendental being. Allah is beyond time and space. Allah has no beginning and no ending. The closest thing we can describe Allah is light. Because Allah said in the Quran, Allahu Nuru Samawati Wal Ard. Allah is one. But this one. Oh, I'm glad you're bringing it up. Yeah. Kulhu Allahu Ahad. Mm -hmm. Allah is one, but not one as in having a second or or two mm -hmm. this is very important when we say Allah is one we don't mean like one with a second mm -hmm. we mean like just one being mm -hmm. God Allah mm -hmm. the all in all the best way to know Allah is by saying la ilaha illallah mm -hmm. la ilaha illallah is saying outwardly no one is worthy of worship but God mm -hmm. but inwardly it means God, Allah is the only reality. Mm -hmm. So everything that we see is God. Mm -hmm. Everything we see is Allah. Mm -hmm. And everything we don't see is Allah. Because Allah has these uh, four names in the Quran to let you know Allah. Who will awalu, will akaru, will zahiru, will basinu. Allah, who will awalu, Allah is the first. Will akaru, Allah is the last. Well, Zahiru, every, Allah is everything you see, the outer. Well, Batinu, Allah is everything hidden that you don't see. So if Allah say, I'm the first, the last, I'm everything manifest, Zahir, and I'm everything Batin, hidden, what else is it? Mm -hmm. Allah is everything. Okay. They say looking for God is like being a fish in the ocean looking for water. Right, right, right. So this is Allah who we worship. Allah... Mm -hmm. Jalal Jalal, who is omnipresent, omnipresent everywhere, omnipotent, all powerful, omniscient, all knowing. This is Allah that we worship. There's no other being that has reality or la ilaha illallah, Malik al Hakum al There's none where they worship but Allah, Malik the King, Hak, he's the truth. Mubin, he's manifest, he's evident. Mm -hmm. So, my sheikh says, if you see something and you don't see Allah, manifest through this, your understanding of Allah's Tawheed oneness is limited. So everywhere, we, there's nothing greater than Allah to hide Allah. It's like saying, I can, I can hide this ring in my fingers because my hands are bigger or greater than the ring, so to speak. Mm -hmm. What can hide Allah? Right. Nothing is, is, can cover Allah. Allah hides himself with himself. So the reality of seeing God is like seeing Allah. Allah says, I was a hidden treasure and I wanted to be known. So I created the universe so that I might be known. So everything we see is Allah and everything we don't see is Allah. He's, he's manifest and hidden. Mm -hmm. And my teacher in Africa said that, the universe that we see is just a minute manifestation of Allah. The Allah that we the 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 uh, the Zahir is the manifestation of God that we see, but the Batin is the unseen God that we don't see. And the Sheikh said that the manifest universe is only like one percent compared to the unseen God that we don't see. So we think the universe is vast. But what we don't see is more than what we see. Mm -hmm. So this is Allah. La ilaha illallah. La, there's none where they worship but Allah. Mm -hmm. Allah is the only reality. But this this one that we call Satan, 
Audhu billahi min shaitan rajim la hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi wal ladhin. People get confused because in the Bible they say the devil shaitan was an angel. But that's false because angels don't fall. There's no such thing as a fallen angel. Really? Yes. Angels don't fall. Angels the only an angel can only do the will of God. Mm-hmm. So the idea of the devil being a fallen angel is false. Angels don't fall. Now, there's only three creations in the universe. Uh, Or you could say the plants, animals, and people. Mm -hmm. Other than that, there's only Mm jinns and there's only uh, angels. That's it. Angels, jinn, and people. That's Mm -hmm. it. Allah says in the Quran, I created man from black clay, from black mud. So the people we were created from black sounding clay. Mm-hmm. He says in the Quran, I created the angels from pure light. Mm-hmm. So an angelic being of pure light doesn't have his own will. He cannot fall. Mm-hmm. Now the jinn have, the jinn are made of smokeless fire. Mm-hmm. All these movies you see about aliens, uh, predator, there's no such thing as an alien, but there are 800 and there's 8,888 different types of jinn. Mm-hmm. So um, all the aliens movies, that's about jinns. Mm-hmm. There's no, and jinns have advanced technology. Mm-hmm. A jinn can have a spaceship. Mm-hmm. My teacher in Tuba told me the jinns run the Bermuda Triangle under the ocean. Mm-hmm. So these jinns are, rea- we don't believe in aliens, but we believe in jinns. Right. So the shaitan he was a jinn. Mm-hmm. He was not an angel. Okay. And what happened, this is deep. You asked a deep question. Shaitan was a Muslim. Mm-hmm. Shaitan was a Muslim. There's no place on the planet Earth or in the sky where he didn't bow and say, Allah Akbar. Mm-hmm. Shaitan was a Muslim jinn who had so much knowledge, he was teaching the angels. Mm-hmm. That's why people think he was an angel because he was in the group of angels, but he was a jinn who was teaching the angels. Mm-hmm. And there's something called the Loho Makfus or the, the hidden tablet where Allah has written the whole past, present, and future of, of humanity. Mm-hmm. It's on what we call the, the Loho Makfus, the hidden tablet. One day, Shaitan was reading this and he read a uh, thousand years in the future. And he said, oh, my God, it's a being that's going to disobey God one day. How's that possible? He's reading about himself. Mm-hmm. He didn't. He said, oh, my God. Oh, this is what he's going to disobey Allah. Oh, my God. Allah going to kick him out of heaven. Oh, my God. Who could that be? He's reading about himself. So the problem was Satan had so much knowledge He became arrogant. Mm -hmm. So Allah was creating man. The devil is not at war with God. The devil is at war with us, the human beings. Because in the Holy Quran, Shaitan refers to Allah as his Lord. Mm -hmm. Because he was worshiping Allah. Mm -hmm. Then one day when Allah said, I'm going to create Adam, boom. Adam was in the clay for 70,000 years, a clay mold. Mm -hmm. For 70,000 years, Adam was in the form of clay. The Shaitan went all through the clay mold of statue, the clay Adam. And Shaitan said, ooh, what is this creature God is making? What is this? What is this new being? God's making some creature. I got to know. Shaitan said, you know what? If this new creature God make is below me, I'm going to do everything to help this new new create creature. Mm-hmm. But if if Allah makes this new c- creature higher than me, I'm going to do everything to destroy him. Mm-hmm. So right in the beginning, I, 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 the, the devil had something against man saying, if God makes this new creature lower than me, I'm going to help him. Right. If God makes him higher than me, I'm going to do everything to destroy him. So... It came time for Allah to breathe the, the, the ruh, the spirit, into Adam. And he, he blew the spirit into the nose of Adam. 
And amazingly, when Allah breathed the spirit into Adam, Adam sneezed, Hachu. Then the first word Adam said was Alhamdulillah. That's why in Islam, when you sneeze, you say Alhamdulillah. Because that was the first word Adam said, praise Allah when, when the soul was breathed, the spirit was breathing to Adam. Then something miraculous happened. The devil was there when this happened, and all the angels were there when Allah breathed the spirit into Adam. Then Allah told all the angels, prostrate and bow to Adam. Mm -hmm. That's when the Satan lost his mind. He said, All the he said, Nope, I'm not bowing to this clay. Satan was the first racist. Mm -hmm. He's the first racist because he said, Anna Kato Min. He said, I'm better than him. Mm -hmm. What does the racist say? I'm better than them niggas. Right, right, right. Satan was the first racist. He said, I'm better than him. I'm not bowing to no clay. Mm -hmm. Satan said, I'm better than him based on physical features. Mm -hmm. Satan said, me, I'm made of smokeless fire. Right. This being is made of clay. I'm better than him. I'm not bowing. All the angels, they bowed to Adam. Satan didn't bow. Allah started punishing the devil so fast that when, this, when the angels came back up, they saw the punishment that Satan was getting. They said, Allah Akbar. They went. <laughs> they bowed again. That's why in Islam, when we mix a lot, we do two bows. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. From the angels, when they bowed to Adam the first time, they came up and they looked and seen what the punishment Shaitan was getting. They said, Allah is the greatest and bowed again. Mm -hmm. So from that day, that's when, uh, I don't, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, 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 uh. I don't want to, mm. I don't want to say it. Shaitan had a name before Shaitan. Mm -hmm. He was not called Shaitan until after he didn't bow. He, that's when he got the name Iblis, the rejected one. Mm -hmm. So then Allah told the devil, you are going to hell for not obeying my orders to bow to Shaitan, to bow to man. Um, you are going to be eternally in hell. Do you know what Shaitan, I hate to say it, he was, he was smart. Mm -hmm. Shaitan said to Allah, Allah, you know, I was worshiping you for thousands of years. For all this worship I did, I know I'm going to hell for what I did. But for all the worship I did, don't put me in hell right now. Let me test this new creature. Let me see if I can take some of them to hell with me. Give me respite until the day of judgment. I'm going to hell. Mm -hmm. I know from what I did from disobeying your order. I'm going. I know I'm going. Mm -hmm. But Allah, you merciful. You the Lord of all. Give me respite to see if I can take some of these people to hell with me. And Allah so merciful said, okay, I'll let you test him. But you're going to hell. And he said, the only ones you can take to hell with you are the ones who don't worship me. Mm -hmm. That's Quran. Allah says in the Quran, and over my worshipers, Satan will have no power. Mm -hmm. So if you worship Allah, the Satan don't have no power over you. If you stop worshiping, boom, 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 he start whooping butt. Okay. So this was uh, the, the question of Allah and how the Satan came. First, he was Muslim. Mm -hmm. And then when Adam came, that's when the beef started. Mm -hmm. He decided, I'm not going to bow. And then, then he became the Al-Dibila, the cursed one. Okay. That's that's a good question. I hope I answered that. It wasn't too that long. That was very nice answer. Yeah, very nice answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let me see. You know what? I like that answer. Actually, that's better than the biblical answer. Actually. Oh, okay. It's more of a thorough answer than the, okay. than the Bible. Wow. <laughs> um. So then, so he, uh, Satan was a Muslim. But he, okay, you said three, the jinn, the angels, which cannot fall. Right. I was surprised to hear that. Yeah, so there's no such thing as a fallen angel. Yeah, that's very Jinns don't have free will. The only creatures that have free will are the human beings and the jinn. And the jinn, okay. And so, so angels don't have free will. You know that. Jinn. God created jinn. God created, uh, Allah created jinn. Allah created angels. Yes. And Allah created man. Humans. Yes, yes. Uh, do you. 
believe that Jen has their own has created anything or even try to imitate Allah in any way? In creation? The interesting thing about Jen is there's Muslim Jen and non-Muslim Jen. I could, I could Muslim Jen and non-Muslim Jen. Uh, Jens get married and have families. Right, right, right. The interest one a, a baby Jen could be four hundred years old. Right, 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 right. So that's how you have some generational curses, right, right. where there's a Jen in the family. Yes. Yeah. Your great grandmother made a might have made a pact with a Jen. Mm -hmm. Two generations before you, right. your great grandmother was doing some satanic stuff, mm -hmm. sacrifice some. Did some stuff, made a pact with the jinn to give her some magical powers. Right. Your great grandmother died five hundred years ago. The jinn she made that pact with is still in the family. Right. Maybe causing problems two generations later. The jinn is still in that family. Right. People say, I don't know why I got all this bad luck. I can't get no job. Every time I get married, I end up getting divorced. It seemed like somebody put voodoo on me. Yeah. It might be voodoo. It might be a jinn that's in that family. Right. And the sheikh can do some type of work to to make the jinn leave the family. Mm -hmm. So jinn are shapeshifters. Mm -hmm. A jinn could be a jinn could be as small as this bottle. A jinn could be as big as a building. Mm -hmm. A jinn can look like an alien, mm -hmm. or a jinn can look like a beautiful man. Beautiful woman, a jinn could be a cat, a bird, a dog. Jinn are shapeshifters. So And you said it's like eight hundred some odd eight thousand eight thousand some odd different species of jinn. Yeah. Okay. Now what's interesting is the human being, we are the 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 smallest number of creation is the human being. Mm -hmm. You know, because every human being has at least two angels. Mm -hmm. So uh there's more jinns than human beings, mm -hmm. and there's more angels than jinns. Okay, question. I'm just going to interject. Just, just, I love okay, questions. Okay, cool. So, we got the jinn, we got the human, okay, but we got the, the, the shaitan, who was a Muslim, but he was jealous of the human, of Adam. Uh-huh. So, he, his whole objective is to attack and destroy men who do not worship Allah. Yes. So, is it only Shaitan or is it the 8,000 some odd Now, jinn? what happened was Shaitan started recruiting other jinn. Okay. He recruited other jinn. So, you have the Shaitan and then you have Shayateen. Okay. So, they say Shaitan. Now, remember the jinns, they have. They they mate they have families they have offspring right so the shaitan uh, is the father of all the the, the non Muslim jinns. Okay, so that answered my question. Yeah, because he's the father some of all. type of activity going on. Some like some, maybe some like, what kind? Was, well, like maybe hybrid. Yeah, yeah, they all came from yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so all of those what different I'm species. Asking. So just as well as Allah has His original creation. Shaitan has some offspring. Hybrid, um, offspring, yep. And all types Children. of other 8,000 odd gins, they are. That's shapeshifter, yeah. Children. Some gins in the ocean. And, and, they got gins in the ocean, gins right. in the forest, like that, certain gins in the mountain, yes, yes. certain gins, and gins yeah. love dirty. The good part is, Sheikh Ahmed Bamba says, if you keep a wudu, which is I the wash of. Wudu. wudu is, you have to make wudu. Oh, okay. okay. You wash your right hand with water, yeah. left hand with water, mouth with water, nose, yeah. rinse your face with water, over your head with water, inside the ears, behind the ears with water, right foot up to the ankle, left foot up to the ankle. If you think about it, the water is sealing you. It's sealing all five points. Your arm is sealing your head with water, mm -hmm. this arm with water, this foot with water, the other foot with water. Now, bam, you done sealed yourself... You saw, you saw the Wizard of Oz? Mm -hmm. What did the wicked witch, she hated what? Water. Why do you think she hated water? Why did they put that water in the movie was burning the wicked witch? Why? Because right. right. um. she's a jinn. Mm -hmm. The water protects you from jinns. Okay. And Sheikh Ahmed Mama said the water and Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim will protect you from jinns 
and magic. Mm -hmm. So you have to keep the voodoo. It protects you from so many negative people, the haters, protect you from jinn, mm -hmm. because the jinn water, the worlds are topsy-turvy. Mm -hmm. The jinn can live in fire, mm -hmm. but the jinn will burn in water. Okay, got you. We will burn in fire, right, right. but we can live and swim in water. Yeah. So when you're using the water, the jinn is like, damn, I can't get Natasha no more. Jinn mm -hmm. Allah says in the Quran, all the be like Mesh Tanajim, Bisim Laf Marahim, Kul all the Rabin Nas, Malikin Nas and Lahim Nas, Mean Sharulo Swazo Khan Nas, Ala the Yu Waswi, Sufi Suduri Nas, Minal Jin Nati one Nas, which is saying I seek protection of Allah from these jinns and Shaitan. Mm -hmm. Then Allah says in the Quran, Sudur is the chest. Mm -hmm. The jinns whisper, Waswi Sufi, they whisper into the, the heart. So jinns affect the intellect and the consciousness. Mm -hmm. A lot of these people, the jinns whisper, give you suggestions, and then withdraw. Guy go in the courtroom, they say, why you kill all those people? Oh, yeah. I heard a voice telling me to kill all these people. Right. The court said, you ain't heard no voice. Yeah. In court, you can't pr prove the jinn, yeah, right. but he heard, man, go in the house and kill your whole family. Right. Okay, he's high on drugs. Yeah. He uh, maybe drank a bunch of alcohol. He's in the car. He hears something say, go in the house, kill your wife, kill your kid. Okay, he can go in the house and shoot everybody. He don't know. He heard a voice. Mm -hmm. He go in the court. Why you kill all those people? I heard a voice saying to me, kill everybody. Right. The court say, no, you didn't hear no voice. Yes. Islam say, he heard a voice. Yes. It was a jinn. Right. So, but if the man had had a voodoo, the jinn can't whisper through you because you put the voodoo, you put the water in your ears, mm -hmm. that jinn ain't giving you no more suggestions. So the voodoo is such a powerful weapon to protect us. Mm -hmm. I, in Africa, they told me, uh, one time we was going to pray, and I went to go make a voodoo, and I was the only one that went to make a voodoo. So I asked the brothers, y'all don't make a voodoo before you pray? They said, make it. We all have voodoo. All the time. All the time. I said, what? I make my voodoo when it's time to pray. They say, Abdullah, you in Africa. It's too much magic. They say, don't ever leave your house again without no. voodoo. Mm. Never. In Africa, you, they told, they said, you don't have it? I said, I didn't know. They said, brother, from this day forward, never leave your never. house without voodoo. Never go to sleep without voodoo. Mm. From that day in like 97, 98, you will never catch me without a voodoo. After they told me that, mm -hmm. I, if I go in a restaurant and use the bathroom, I make a voodoo in that yeah, restaurant before I come out. Right. Because I know it's a protection. Yeah, it's a protection. This is a good question. I hope I'm not giving too long an answer. No. I'm so known. You, you can never answer too long. Like, you love questions, I love answers. Ask some more. Lacho, Lacho. They say I'm voodoo. I just want to ask. Uh -huh. The question is, the, not for me, but... So yeah. When you have a wood, get out of your house. No matter what you do, you come back safe. I mean, I didn't you know have that. A what? And go travel. Mm -hmm. No matter what you do, you come back in the house. Oh, oh, like, say that again, brother Mara. When you have a wood and get out of your house, before you get out of your house, you have a wood. No matter what you do, you will come back to the house. I mean, I mean, at that, I learned something new. The Sheikh says, uh, make a wood. He said, if you have a voodoo when you leave your house, you always come back to your house safe. That's a secret. I didn't know that. Alhamdulillah. Make your voodoo, people. Please. In America, you need it. If you need it in Africa, you definitely need it in America. We got people here that don't even believe in God. Alhamdulillah. At least the people in Africa who do magic, at least they believers. Think about the people over here who don't believe in what they doing. You better make a voodoo in this place. So, a uh, question, please. Um, okay, so back to this, um, Jen. I'm, uh, my mind lately has been on the concept of Allah and Satan. So, my okay. questions are going to stay. Trying to figure it out. Yeah, yes, okay. Yes, I yes, love this, this please. Woman in my head. Mm -hmm. So, Jen have to have a what we would call good contribution, do you think? 
Yeah, some gin, the Muslim gin, they do good. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you go out of your house, the, some you hear you left your keys in the house. Okay, well, I'm who told pause. you? That? I'm sorry. The so-called not good gin. Yeah. Don't they have? Would would they work? Be considered necessary and good. In the universe, you have to have a balance of yin and yang. That's right. That's good, right? Okay. There has to be uh, without without the negatives without bad you wouldn't recognize good without cold weather you wouldn't recognize the hot weather if if it was only hot you wouldn't know it you wouldn't know it and t- so in the universe there's yin and yang right. positive and negative principles right. on a car battery to start the car you got to have a negative charge and a positive charge right. the unit. Allah said in the Holy Quran, I create everything's in pairs. Yeah. So there has to Allah say I'm the creator of life right. and I'm the bringer of death. Right. It looks opposite, right. but that's God. Right. Allah has a left hand and a right, right hand. Right. So I wrote an essay that said the shaitan is the friend of the saint. How did the devil become the saint's friend? How did the devil become the the saint's friend. Yeah. Satan is the friend of the Wali. Uh-huh. Because without Satan giving us these tests, we can never become a saint. Right. You only become a saint by overcoming the tests and trials. Shake it a fall, fall, now even on fall, 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 y'all. Shake it a fall. He said, the harder, the better. I shake, shake it a fall. He said, the harder, the better. Like, the more shit you go through. Yeah. The yeah. higher your realization. So thank you, Shaytan, for your right, test. That's, right, that's, right. that's, why, that's what I be thinking. I'm no. like, you know what? The so-called devil, I'm like, he's my he's friend. Good. Ultimately, and he's I'm good. I'm like, I know I'm not crazy. Ultimately, but, he's good. Because I would not hear nobody say anything good. But I'm like, it got to be Listen, good. Listen, who make people become Muslim? The devil. Right. Who make people go to church? Right. The devil. Right. Right. Who right. make people pray? Right. Right. The devil. Right. 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 Uh you get a car accident. Who make it happen, the devil? You have the accident. Oh, Allah, help me. Yeah. He making you pray. That's what throws me off, Sheikh Sufi. Honestly, mm-hmm. I, think, mm-hmm. I mean, I keep to myself. I mind my business. I don't. I'm not into ultra super religious type activities because yeah. of. Yeah, I hate religion. I don't like I, it. I'm not into religion at all. I because love spirituality. Of things, I, I'm, 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 I consider myself a spiritual. Yes. But you know, um, certain things I can't necessarily because it's like to me. I believe a spiritually balanced person knows that. Yeah, that but that is, that's a, but that's that, a secret to know that you will not become. Think of all the tests the Shaitan gave Sheikh Ahmed Bamba. Right. Absolutely. Every time he's coming to try to test, yeah. one day they say the Shaitan put on Sheikh Ahmed Bamba's brother's clothes. Mm-hmm. Wrapped his face up like Sheikh Ahmed Bamba's brother and came to try to see Sheikh Ahmed Bamba. They say Sheikh Ahmed Bamba was sitting with some watermelon. Mm-hmm. And, and the, the Shaitan says, Salam alaikum to greet Sheikh Ahmed Bamba. Sheikh Ahmed Bamba said, I'll only be live when they Shaitan our regime and pushed the watermelon at Shaitan. And he started running. Mm-hmm. And when the Shaitan got far away, he said, Sheikh, how do you know it wasn't your brother? He said, my brother, he never greeted me the way you did. My brother, he greets me with a different greeting. Mm-hmm. I knew it was you by the way you said, Salaam Alaikum. Right. So, every saint is tested by the Satan. And you'll never become a saint until you overcome his test. Mm-hmm. So, the Wali is thankful for the, the test. When Sheikh Ahmed Bamba went to become a saint... The Prophet Muhammad Salam, came to Sheikh Ahmed Bamba in Dawa Qudus and said, Sheikh Ahmed Bamba, why are you in this room praying? What are you trying to get from Allah? You've been in this room praying for five years. What do you want? Sheikh Ahmed Bamba said, I want to be with you like the people in the Battle of Badr. Mm-hmm. He told Prophet Muhammad, I want to be with you every day. Prophet Muhammad said, Sheikh Ahmed Bamba, you can't get that from just praying. He said, you have to leave this holy city of Tuba and go through some tests and trials to get the station you want. Right. Who's going to bring the test to Sheikh Ahmed Bamba? Yes, right. It looks like a negative, but, but it ends up being a positive it's because it's the balance of the universe. 
So he's, I mean, people say he's evil, but Allah has a left hand and a right hand. The right hand of Allah, they say, is good. The left hand, they say, they call Shaitan, they say he's bad. But yeah. without the negative pole, you can't start your car. No, you can't. No, you can't. You need the, the negative and the positive pole no. for, the, to, for the car to start. That's what I don't see. That's why I say, that's why I don't, that's why I, I pick and choose what I learn or pick and choose what I allow my, my, to educate me. Yeah, yeah. Because I just can't. I can, on on yeah. certain levels, I just cannot. Because I understand, you know, it's just like good 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 but what's good is what's comfortable or what's good is you yeah. know what i'm saying so that to get out. realization you got to come out your comfort zone yeah, true. they say your reality and realization is just beyond your fear right. so overcome the fear and get to where you're trying to go in life i just need a confirmation on that because i don't i'm not a um i'm not a lonely roman mind wanderer mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i just wanted to Actually, yeah. actually, that helped me a lot. Alhamdulillah, it helped me too. Yeah, just by being life. in St. Louis. Yeah. Ask some more questions, please. Yeah, well, I'm glad I asked you that because I, I have to check myself like, am I going to? Mm -mm. You know what I mean? Am I going? Them, you know? He's actually helping us. The harder, the better. Always remember the harder, the better. The more tested. When I first became a Moorid, there was a man named Nyang and Yang. And Nyang and Yang was... Uh, in Indianapolis, Indiana. And he told me something when I, I went to Tuba in 96 and came back. He's the one who, who made the connection for me to go to Senegal. When I came back the first time, I was talking to Yang. Yang said something to me that was puzzling for many years. I talked to him and I said, Yang, you seem like you're always going through some tests and trials. Why are you always having these tests? He said, Abdullah. I prayed to Allah to give me the hardest test and the biggest trial. I said, what? You want the test and trial? He said, the big man has a big test. He gave me an example because he was a businessman. He said, if, if Allah give me a big test and I overcome it, I have a higher realization. He gave me a clear example. He said, a millionaire businessman, he need a million dollars right now to buy this building before the building sell in 20 minutes. He need a million dollars to buy the building. He said a wino and a drug addict on the street, he need a dollar to buy some wine right now. Which test is bigger? The millionaire, he need his million dollars right now. The guy, the homeless guy, he need a dollar to buy some wine. The million dollar test is bigger than the dollar test. He said, he said I prayed to Allah to give me the hardest test so I can have the biggest realization. I thought about that for years. I was new. I was new in the way. I was like, Yang, I said, you better than me. I don't want all these hard tests. I'm <laughs> right, good. Yeah. But now I see the harder the better. So yeah. this is what he was saying. Give me the test so I can have higher realization. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sheikh Ahnubama was in exile for seven years. They tried to kill him 286 times. Right. The Prophet Muhammad himself, alayhi salam, said the prophets are the hardest tested. And after the prophet are the saints. One Sufi master told me, if you're not getting no tests, you're not getting no progress. Yeah. Every time you go to school, what would you think if you went to school and at the end of the year they didn't give no tests? They just right. said everybody go you home. Pass, you go, you go what kind of school is this? Right. It ain't no tests. Right. Or you got a teacher. The teacher's not giving no tests in the class. You're like, this teacher ain't no good. He ain't giving us no, no tests. Right. Right. So if you're going through life without no tests, you're going to have some tests in the next life. You better have some tests now right. so you can have a higher realization now. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a very good question. Yeah. Cool. I think that was just that was basically where I've been at. Just that thinking, just a little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. to throw that about, you know, ask some questions about that and just... More, more, more. I love questions. Well, I have to give you some more, but those were uh -uh, those I kind of pressing questions because that's where I've been at because lately I've been feeling like, shoot, the devil. He whooping my ass. No, but no, he cool. That means a lot of love you. sound weird, but to me, I'm just like, yeah, I'm hey, cool man, with this is tell. so necessary. Yeah. It's, it's this necessary. Is so this is so for balance. This is so for goodness. Just Here think me. if you only had summer. It wasn't no spring and fall. Right, 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 right. You got to have the four seasons. You got to have it. It's the balance. the I be thinking like, you gotta have the test. You know, let it be good. You know. So ask some more questions, please. Um, and 
Listen. Um, wow. Wow, those were just the biggest questions I had, actually. I was just like, uh, I better ask that because I want to make sure that I ain't. Yeah, no, we're not, to... we're not crazy. We're not crazy. We're not crazy. I was just thinking I'm all right, but I got to check. That's why you got to have to teach it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what else? Goodness gracious. I think that's, you know what? What? Yeah, because I, I just want to get a really understand, you know, just a. Uh, that and you explained a lot. Like you don't even understand the way you uh, how elaborate okay. your answers were. You was you answered a lot. Um, I'm not a big person on terminology at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe I should be. I, you know, um, I'm sure that a lot of that stuff is relevant. Do you believe in the uh, uh, language as far as? Spells or what? Yeah, you understand what I mean. So okay, so then my question, I guess I could ask you this: um, with Arabic, is that a more um, potent language as far as you know? It, what's the main reasoning uh, behind? Just okay, the let me ask you: uh, what 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 wattage are those light bulbs? Maybe sixty. Sixty watts. If you put a hundred watt light bulbs in there, would it be brighter? Yeah. So let's say English is like a 50 watt light bulb. Right, 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 right. The vibration in yeah, Arabic right, yeah. is like a 200 watt light bulb. Okay. That makes so sense. everything is sound and vibration. You can say there's none worthy of worship but God, or you can say La ilaha illallah. Right. Which one has a higher vibration? Right, right, right. You can say in the name of God, the beneficent, the merciful, mm-hmm. or you can say Bismillah, Irrahman, Irrahim. Right. In the name of God is a 50 watt light bulb. Right. Bismillah is like a thousand watts. Right. So everything is energy, everything is vibration. Absolutely. And you asked about spelling. Do words do spells? If I write something on a paper, what's that called? Right. Spelling. It's but called I, spelling. You answered my question because that's why I was wondering is just the energy, the Arabic, the energy behind it's a the higher vibration. Is a higher vibration. It's a much higher that vibration. That makes sense. Because then so, that, will, that will motivate me to want to what? start using it. After I talk, took my shahad, <laughs> after I took my shahada, something amazing happened to me. It was in 1993. Mm-hmm. I went to a Muslim banquet. At this time, I was, uh, it was with Warf Dean Muhammad, Anubalaj Muhammad's Sons community. Mm-hmm. I didn't read Arabic. I hadn't even been to Tuba yet. It was 93 after I took my shahada. A new Muslim, I went to a banquet sitting at the table with Muslims. At this point, I didn't even speak no Arabic, read no Arabic. For some reason, an old, old, old black lady, she must have been in her 60s, mm-hmm. 65. She came uh, in the banquet, sat down right next to me. She said, "Assalamu alaikum." I said, "Wa alaikum salam." She didn't ask me my name. She didn't say nothing. The old black lady said to me, "Son, um, as soon as you start to learn to pray in Arabic, the shaitan won't be able to do nothing to you." Mm-hmm. I was like, "A ton of bricks, boom!" What make this black? She don't know me from Adam. Right. It's over two hundred people in this banquet. An empty chair, she walked from across the room, sat down next to me, said, Salaam Alaikum, didn't ask me my name. Only thing she said to me that whole time was, son. And it seemed like she knew I was a new Muslim. Right. How she know I didn't know how to read Arabic? She didn't right. know me. Right. She says, son, as soon as you learn to pray in Arabic, the shaitan won't be able to do nothing to you. Man, you should have seen me trying to learn me some Arabic prayers. After that, I was like, I don't know you, but I know what you're saying is true. Right. Let me learn my Al-Fatiha. Let me learn Bismillah al Because once you start praying in Arabic, the shaitan is like, damn. What am I going to do? This guy, this lady, she said Bismillah al And she got a wudu. I'm going to just leave her alone. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, she didn't go pray. She said, la, 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 la. Did she just say Barker shake it fall, Barker shake it fall, Barker shake it fall? I'm out of here. So once you start praying in Arabic, you weaken in him. He's like, she got weapons now. She got weapons. She got weapons. Don't let the mental block between English and Arabic be a stumbling block. 
Because as soon as you learn the basic prayers, you will see a higher vibration in your life. And just by changing your vibration, you're changing the amount of light in the room just by changing the light bulb. Right. Just by saying in the name of God, it's 50 watts. As soon as you say Bismillah, ooh, you had 100 watts. You can keep the 50 watts. You still got light. But man, if I could have 1,000 watts, right. that makes sense. light, 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 I'm going to start doing my prayers in Arabic yeah. immediately just for the vibration. I don't know where English is like the lowest base it's a ba- English is a, It's the lowest yeah, language. It's I, a bastard yeah, language. Yeah, it is so much. Most of the English don't even come from, it's I, from I, other I languages. That, that, I, and I do believe that's intentional too spiritually. Yeah, dumb it, it down, dumb it down. Dumb it down. So, to lower your vibration. Absolutely. Start praying in Arabic and see what happens. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. I just have to. It's gonna raise your like vibration. A, a lot of the things that I haven't really been pursuing is because I have these questions and I ask me like, all you know the questions I mean? you want. So it had to, but you know, for you to do something, you have to believe what you're doing. Yeah, and and Sheikh Ahmed Bamba, he says knowledge should be the leader of your practice. Yeah, ilm should be your imam of your amal. Which means, check out Obama said, knowledge should be the leader of your practice. Don't practice something you don't know. Right, right, right. And Allah says, know me before you worship me. Right, right, right. right. So knowledge, and Prophet Muhammad said, knowledge is the lost property of the believers. Mm-hmm. So if he says it's lost, that means one day we had knowledge. So yeah. we must, as, and then this is deep. Prophet Muhammad said, one Muslim with knowledge is harder on the devil than 70 ignorant worshipers. Right. One Muslim with knowledge right. is harder on Satan than 70 ignorant Muslims that don't have no knowledge. Right. Rabi Zidni Ilm is a Quranic verse. Rabi Zidni Ilm means, oh my Lord, increase me in knowledge. People watching this say Rabi Zidni Ilm. Rabi Zidni Ilm. Rabbi Zidni Ilm. It's a verse of the Quran that means, Oh my Lord, increase me in knowledge. Okay. Ooh, I love these questions. Please ask some more. Okay, I got it. I, when you be talking, I have them and then I, I lose them while you're uh, That's it. Uh, you answered that question about the language. That was a question I've been having. I mean, and these are things that. These are practical questions. And the good part is we're recording this, if you don't mind. I'm going, I'm going to share it There's with no people problem. on, on, no on my channel. No because the questions you're asking, believe me, it's a hundred other people out there with the same question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so that was... And these are things that, well, for me, are blocks. Mm. You understand? Yeah, Yafatahu. Yeah. May Allah open all the blocks. Yeah, right. So these are just like, oh, let me mm-hmm. scroll down mm-hmm. before this. Yeah. Let me test this. Um, so that's the language. That's the um, I have a question about goodness, it just popped in my head. Let me see. Ooh, I know we're keeping Mata up. This man is a hard worker. I think he's an angel. We're gonna have to. Did, did you do meet his mom and dad? He got I parents. His, I his okay, because let me ask you, yo, yo, do need that. <laughs> Brother Mara, he works so hard for the Sheikh. I think he's an angel sometimes. Mm-hmm. I don't meet a lot of disciples like him. I was telling him that today. What I see from him in the past couple of days, yeah. she's 60 something. She says the same thing about him. She said, I've never, wow, never seen nothing like No, him. uh-uh, never. I haven't mm-hmm. seen, no, no, no. I've mm-hmm. seen a lot of Talibé. I've seen a lot of Bifal, but not like Mara. He can pray for me. I'm going to have a better life. I know. <laughs> Buyanama. Somebody, somebody lived in a taco. If he pray for me, he, my life going to be better. Bucket mm-hmm. shake it with all. I know mm-hmm. it. Look at my question. Came up. Okay, so then. Um, I had some. Do you. Okay, I don't want to sound controversial. I'm trying to think of how to phrase this. Say it. Say it. I'm going to say it. Praying to... And, I'm, and I believe in prayer. I don't want to sound okay, like I'm okay. in yeah, yeah. Sometimes my questions are just maybe come off a screen. Ask me anything. Praying to Allah. Yes. Do you believe on an energetic level that that is outsourcing 
power from yourself no. or you know like um saying that saying that, that um well, instead of me energizing myself, I'm putting whatever energy I can use to build myself up that's needed for me to go through this life mm -hmm. into this so-called cup. And saying, this cup is going to do it for me. I'm going to... You know what I noticed that about religious people? Mm -hmm. I see that all the time. Like, oh, God is going to do this for but me. But the people, ha they don't have the right understanding of God. They don't have a, the right understanding of Allah. So do you think it's a, 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 a healthy boundary that we should acknowledge as spiritual people? Okay, let me ask you this. When you pray to Allah, where is Allah? He's omnipresent. Where's the closest place to meet Allah? I think inside yourself. Exactly. So when you're praying to Allah, you're actually praying inward, not outward. Right. Because the Prophet Muhammad salam, says, Allah doesn't fit in the heavens or the earth, but Allah fits in the heart of those who believe in him. Right. So if I ask you to point to yourself, where do you point? To basically your heart. Everybody point right here, right. because Allah lives here. Right. I don't believe in no God out in the sky nowhere. Okay. I believe the, the Allah I'm praying to right. is giving myself power because Allah says in the Quran, I'm closer to you than your juggler vein. Gotcha. So this Allah we're praying to, we're not giving source to an outer power. Okay. Who's giving us breath? Uh, right. Can you make your heart beat? Right. Right. Who keeping the heart beating? Right. Whoever's keeping that heart beating, they got to be pretty close to you. So when you say, oh, Allah, you're calling, it looked like you're vocalizing out, but the power is coming from within. Even in the Bible, Jesus hinted at this. Where did Jesus say heaven was? Jesus says in the Bible, the kingdom of heaven is oh, within no, yeah, you. That's right, that's right, that's right. So if the kingdom of heaven is within you and everybody know Allah is in heaven, so where is Allah? Right. He's in you. Right. So, uh... And the Sufis, one master, Baal Mahadeen, he said, only Allah can pray to Allah. Only Allah can pray to Allah. So that aspect of you that wants to call God, that's God. Right, right. I can resonate with that. Yeah. Sense the part of you that wants to pray, Allah, Allah got 99 names. Right, right. One of Allah's names is al muh al muh uh, al muh one of the night, Allah is Al Rahman, the merciful, Al Sabur, the patient. Allah is Al Ali, mm -hmm. the, the Most High. He's Al Haq, the truth. He's Al Hakim, the wise. Mm -hmm. Another name is He's Al Mufmin. Mufmin means He's the true believer. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. my God! Yeah, ain't that interesting? What Allah's name is Al Mufmin, the true believer? Wow! What if I become a true believer? Right. Put down your pipe and smoke it. Right, right. One of his names is Al Mufmin. He said, I'm the true believer. Right, right, right. right so right. if you become a true believer in Allah, who are you? That's right, 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 right. Huh. Right. Damn you. <laughs> you think your kung fu is better than mine. Hey. Excuse me. Let's talk about that. You think your wisdom is better than mine. Huh. Damn you. I would shake off the bomba. You cannot defeat my bifold style. Fuck. Excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, yeah. When you call Allah, who's calling? Right, 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 right. Only Allah can say la 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 la. Only Allah say Bismillah man or him. That's Allah's word. That ain't from man. So we're not praying to no outside source. And the more you say that, the more powerful you getting yes. because you're getting in touch with Allah through his words, through his power. Right. And the mystics say Allah and his word is not different. Mm -hmm. As soon as you say Allah, you're with Allah. Mm -hmm. As soon as you say Bismillah, you're with Allah. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Bismillah means with Allah. It means in Allah. Just think about that. As soon as you say Bismillah, that Bis means with Allah, mm -hmm. and it can mean in Allah, in the name of Allah. What could be better than being in Allah's name? Right, right. I don't know nothing better than that. Right. In Allah's name, just by saying his name. And then in the Bible it says, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. The word dwelt amongst man and became flesh. If I say this la 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 why can't that la 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 become my flesh? Right, absolutely. Why can't that la 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 get into my cells? 
Why can't that lie, lie, lie get into my brain? Why can't the lie, lie, lie get in my eyes? Lie, lie, lie get in my ears. Woo wee. That's real. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. That's real. That's real. May these names become. The Sufis say, say a lot until you become what you're saying. Right. Yep. Hey, those are my questions. Those are my like big questions. What? Yeah, that's it. I'm a simple woman. I'm a very simple woman. You want to be famous? You want to say salam to the people? Salam, family. Peace and blessings from St. Louis, Missouri. This is Sister Tasha and her wonderful husband, Mark. We're here in St. Louis, Missouri for the Nyaya Akat. And she asked some beautiful questions. You want to say anything to the, the listeners, the people who are going to be watching this video? What would you say to the people? Peace, love and light, peace and blessings to all of you guys. From St. Louis, Missouri. Love and light, <laughs> peace to all of you guys from St. Louis, Missouri. Salim B. Lungi will go. I know your are He's tired. <laughs> I know he want to say Barker Shake it Okay. Okay. Little Jeff. Little Jeff. So, Akasa Fall. We want to thank everybody who will watch this video. Uh, again, my name is Sheikh Sufi. Email me if you have any questions about these uh, answers and. We can discuss this. She asked some of the most some questions. Humbly lahi rabbi alameen. Sister Natasha, Sister Tasha asked some of the most, quest, most important questions you can ask. Who is Allah and who is the shaitan? Please know thyself, know Allah, and protect yourself from I almost said the president, Stockwell. But protect yourself from the shaitan. He might be the president. I don't know. All of you lie in a mom, mom, key, shaitan, Eskimo day balloon to shaitan. I think the president did his bayout with shaitan, Stockwell. Okay, that's enough. Stockwell. All of you lie, Bismillah, did it just three tuba. Assalamu alaikum, Paul, Yadam Paul.